Hey guys, Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at Warpig slash Luke's Wall. Uh, this is going to be the Luke's Wall portion of the little instrumental section they always do at the end of Warpigs. So uh, let's start here. We're still in standard tuning here. And we're basically going to have a rhythm, a little picking pattern here. You're going to hold first a bar at the seventh fret. <laughs> And it's just really you have to bar across just the fifth, fourth, and third string. And then you're going to play the ninth fret there on the D string. So we have these three notes. Now the actual picking pattern you're going to be doing is the fifth string to the fourth, then fifth string to the third. So you do that twice. And then you play just the fourth string to the third string to end it. So we have. All right, so what he's doing kind of randomly is he's adding the low E string. When you come down to pick the, the seventh fret down here, sometimes he'll add a low E string to kind of fill out the sound. So it sounds like. All right, so after you've done that pattern twice, then it has the first chord. Power chord to the seventh fret off the A string, over to the seventh fret on the low E, and then the fifth fret on the, the A string. Back to that same pattern again. Just once, and then we have seven, ten, seven. Back to the same thing again. Same chords as before. And same chords there as well. And then the song, everything starts kind of moving along with the whole band. He just does that same phrase but no chords in between it. Then take it down two frets. No longer going to hit the low E string now. Just do the straight pattern there. Then two more frets to the third fret. Now the power chord here, it's second fret on the, and then up to third, back to two. Then we're gonna go slide into the power chord of the seventh fret on the A string with the low E in it. And that really takes us to the next section. So let me play through that real quick. Here we go. into a little solo there. So we're just going to start here with that slide we just did. Then a low E string, four on the D, five, and then hammer four to five. Back to the four. Then four again. So five on the A, and then you're going to go from seven on the low E to set five on the A. And then back to that slot. Then a couple low E's here. Then four, five, and then seven twice. Then seven again. Four, five on the A, seven on low E. So it's kind of back down. Then start over in the exact same way. Now you kind of slide up here, and then you're going to go into those bends. The, the solo is basically those bends. It's, it's very similar to the, the, the main solo in the song. And then there's those, the same kind of trill bends that he did there. And then he's doing a kind of hammering 7 to 9 to 7 to 9 on the G. All right, then you just kind of gonna go through. You're gonna go hammer seven to nine, pull off the seven, slide to five, 
hammers to five, and pull back to five. So and when you get down to four, you're gonna hammer four to five, pull back off to that seven on the A, and then you're gonna repeat that. So we have this. And then back to that main melody. And then we're just back to that same riff that we did. They just try to do that to the end of the song. They kind of speed up the recording and stuff. And it just kind of ends on that. So that's about it for Luke's Wall. So we can take care of all of War Pigs for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye-bye.